All right, let me give y'all an update. I got the new throttle body on there. I'm working on adjusting it now. I gotta get a little, just a little bit of this, this slack out of here. But that's not why I'm uploading this. Cause I was gonna keep this to myself, but Buddy Low keep pissed me off. All right, so get the new throttle body, you know, putting it on, wham, bam. I'm thinking everything going smooth. Well, you put this little gold nut, that didn't fit before. I had to get a drill bit and open it up a little bit. Now, mind you, beforehand, I'm talking to a uh, buddy at Snake Eater Performance. He talking about anything wrong with our throttle body, I'll take care of it. I tell buddy, like, this ain't fitting. Man, this man giving me the run around, talking about uh, contact low car, see if they can send you another fitting, blah, blah, blah. He doing everything but telling me, uh, I'll go check what I got, make sure it fit, and I'll send you another one. So I drill out the hole, get that to fit, and what have you. So, I mean, I'm a very, uh, yeah, I'm a petty person, so. Right now, we're going to add them to the list of fuck them. So, fuck them and Holly. I mean, I don't want to be using uh, curse words here because my daughter's going to watch this video later. But also, he was telling me, take this piece off and a little screw that go in here. Put some red Loctite on it. All that mumbo jumbo. But either way, I got it on there. Got it to fit. But I just ain't like how he was handling the whole situation. Like, bruh, you just told me if there's any issues, you'll take care of it. And your solution for taking care of it is telling me a whole bunch of shit to do. So, whatever, what have you. So, now, I'm working on this. Get this running. Get my IAC percentage where it's supposed to be. Call the alignment guy. Get that taken care of. And then, you know, potentially drive it. Oh, also, my new wheel's supposed to be here Wednesday. So, I'll give y'all one clue. Hey, two sizes, two numbers up for knees right here. That's about all I tell you. <laughs> yeah, they two numbers up, and they, uh, and they step lips. Yeah, so, change it up a little bit. Change it up. But, yeah, man, just trying to get all this knocked out. On my journey of this long ass uh, LS swap. So I'll put this video up. It's just a quick one talking about what the hell I've been dealing with because can't nothing seem to go smooth with me in this damn car. Oh, I'll add this in the video too. All right. So y'all remember uh, this gas tank. All right. Dude who sells the gas tank, I'm definitely not saying his name. Because he, he could eat a whole one. Uh, I'm thinking, you know, he sells a GM tank. He's going to use a GM sending unit. So I'm over here looking through all my Holly instructions and all that, what have you. I'm thinking I got a bad sending unit wire, whatever, what have you. Man, I done set this thing to 90 to 0 ohms. I thought it was reading right. Talking to the homie, put some gas in it, needle don't budge. I'm like, man, damn. Post something on my IG story. And I'm going to start, I call dude the Black Jesus Whisperer. Because he done solved a lot of problems for me, like, really quick, just in conversation with him. And, uh, yeah, that's, he, he's labeled the Black Jesus Whisperer. He told me, he was like, what sending unit you got? I was like, damn, it was like Eureka. Light switch went off. I go looking through some screenshots, I find the sending unit I got. And what do you know? The sending unit I got is at 240 ohms empty, 33 ohms full. So I had to set it to this joint right here. And now, let me show you. Now you can see, you got an accurate fuel reading, goddammit. So, 
That's what's up. But thanks to the, the Black Jesus Whisperer. Appreciate you, bro. Also, pray for Haiti. <laughs>